Hello everyone, and welcome to Honest Joe's Movie Review. Movie Review. Movie Review. <laughs> Some of you guys may not know this about me, but I am a 27-year-old man-child who lives in his mother's basement. Unemployed, but I love movies. I love anime. And today I'm going to be reviewing for you Black Panther. Black Panther is basically a film about the Chala who returns to his home, Wakanda, where it has advanced technology, he's appointed as king, and he runs into a lot of conflict. I'm sorry guys, I'm not good at explaining the premise of a movie. And where can I start with this film? Oh boy, oh boy. Where can I start? <sighs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this film Writing wise is the best written film that we had since probably Avengers. I'm just talking about the writing. Oh my god. So damn good. And what was not expected was how funny this movie was. Like this movie was really funny. The people who edit the trailers did a good job of not showing too much of the humor. This film tried to show with serious side, which it was serious. This film was really serious tone. Uh, emotional, heartfelt, the visual, the shots, just amazing. Start with the director, Ryan Coogler. Oh, give this man an Oscar. Give him 12 Oscars. This movie was, was amazingly shot. I really feel like he's probably the best director that Marvel's ever had. Like seriously, he really knew what he was doing. Michael B. Jordan did a good job and I really think it has really a lot to do with the director. I really feel like the director and the co-writer did a good job of making Michael B. Jordan be Michael B. Jordan in this film. Was playing towards Michael B. Jordan's acting strength. Like Michael B. Jordan wasn't trying too hard to be sinister. It was just more honest, it was natural. I really felt Michael B. Jordan's performance was really natural, and the character that he played, which was the villain, Killmonger, I really, it was scary. I really, it really got to the point where I was like, he's kind of right. I see why you're mad, bro. I, I really think that we all had those thoughts in our heads. And I felt like the whole cast did a great job. Everybody did well in this movie. Everybody had their moments to shine. There was no weakest links. Everybody did their thing. Going down the line to Lapita, uh, the girl from The Walking Dead, Chadwick Ballsman, the leading actor, he did a fantastic job. His emotion, it was heartfelt, it was real. He really connected with the character. The accent was top notch. <laughs> the, the girl who played his little sister, she, a lot of people said she stole the movie, which I do agree. She was really natural. She was funny when she needed to be. And I feel like the humor did not take you out of the movie. The humor was perfectly mixed in with this movie. It really looked like everybody had a great time. And you could see that in this film. Everybody just had a great time. This movie has Apollo Creed fingerprints all over. The moments with Black Panther and Killmonger. Uh, it was genius. I, I saw this movie on Saturday and it took me a while to figure out the connection. The dream sequences with uh, with Black Panther and Killmonger remind me of the scene where Creed was knocked out and he had like a vision of his father. I see what you did there, Ryan. I see what you did there. But I will say this, for those who says that this film isn't better than Thor Ragnarok, this film is way better than Thor Ragnarok. I didn't even like the f movie. It was really funny, but the comedy just took you out of the movie. Okay, uh, your father just died and you're cracking jokes. Wow. We didn't explore how Thor felt about losing his father. For all you guys who are trying to find reasons to hate on this movie, just go home, drink a cold beer. We don't need to hear it. We let people enjoy this movie. I hope this film opens doors for other African-American filmmaker, people of color, women. It, it felt like Wonder Woman to me, like how Wonder Woman kind of highlighted women. 
and kind of raised them up in the pedestal. And this film did a good job with that too. I give this movie an A++++. And I really do hope that this movie does become one of the highest grossing films in history. And I really hope that this motivates people to keep creating content. Don't stop till the market, <laughs> till the market. Marker hits the floor. Once the market hits the floor, class is over. That's it. If you guys want me to review more stuff, put a comment below. I only make reviews once a month, and depending on the movie, I'll see it and I'll do a review. And uh, that's about it. I'm show out. Peace.